for me, there is always something to do in the garden. Doesn't matter what the season. And there are so many exciting things to grow. Our garden has actually exploded into pots. It really is a sensational time of the year. Not only the tulips and the annuals are looking fantastic, the veggie garden, it's going off. Let's have a look. See what I mean? <laughs> it's fantastic. And my lettuce, it's just beautiful. I just love purple leaf mignonette. I've had them in the garden for, what, maybe six weeks? And the cold weather this winter has really slowed them down, but now, Blue skies, sunshine, they're really starting to power ahead. Now, when you're harvesting mignonette, you actually take the outside leaves. These are purple, I love the colour on a salad. You can get the lime green ones as well, but only harvest the outside. Don't cut them all off because they'll keep harvesting for you for maybe five, six months. This little beautiful purple leaf mustard, you can plant it pretty much all year round. And it's a great peppery sort of flavour in salads. Speaking of salads, you know, a lot of people grow iceberg lettuce, yes, you cut it off and harvest the whole thing. But, you know, cos lettuce, for example, you can get a harvest out of that for four, five, or even six months if you're lucky in good weather. If you just take the outside and the lower leaves, it will crop for you for many months. Now, admittedly, this looks a bit ratty, but don't worry, I'm still getting salad leaves off that. When the flowers start to appear out the top, that's the end, the leaves will get too bitter. Cut it off, pop it in the bin and plant some more. But there's one other salad crop that you may not have grown before. It's sorrel. Now, when you buy those expensive plastic bags and boxes of salad greens, sorrel makes up 30 or 40% of it. And it's so easy to grow. In fact, this sorrel here not only is easy to grow, it looks great. Those purple veins look fantastic in a salad. And it's got a little bit of a peppery flavour, but not too much. But this is now five years old. So once you plant it, it'll die down and then it just comes back again. So don't pull it out, don't think you've lost it. I have to admit, over the years, the real estate in my veggie patch has become very competitive. My wife, Sandra, has reignited her love of flowers, annuals, cut flowers. Yes, the cutting garden has come back with a vengeance. And look at these beautiful poppies. I love them inside the house. And we've got ranunculus, anemones, all starting to come through and even some rare peony poppies with beautiful foliage, but wait till the flowers appear. So, I don't mind giving them over. And of course, I love the flowers too, not only for indoors, but they're attracting the bees, which are great pollinators for my veggies. Beautiful. You hear a lot about superfoods these days. Well, there's a superfood that's been around for years, and that's all the different types of spinach. Now, the one I'm planting is, in fact, sometimes known as English spinach. But in fact, most of us are now buying a, a variety, this one here, which is called Iron Man spinach, which is a slightly different version of the English spinach. And it's a great crop to grow in the garden. Then there's silver beet. Now, silver beet has a really white stem and the leaves get up to around about half a metre. And it's just full of fibre and nutrition and goodness. With all of the silver beet family, you can grow them from seed because it's quite large. Soak it overnight in a bit of water with some seaweed solution or plant them out as seedlings. And then you can space them out the right distance apart. And don't forget to feed them lots of nitrogen. If you're going for colour and you've got the kids involved, then you'd have to go for rainbow chard. Lovely yellows and reds and purples, still with the green leaves, but the stems are fantastic. All of these are filled with antioxidants, minerals, vitamins. Definitely, you've got to get the kids eating these fellows. 
but if you want to grow the original superfood that goes back over 2,000 years, the Romans grew it and it's called kale and it's time to harvest. Oh, there we go. Bit of apple, some kale, some water, blitz. Tell you what, you cannot beat homegrown. Here's to your health. Mm-mm.